I am genuinely so overwhelmed by Island Paradise. It is insane. I was originally gonna make this one video, but like it can't be one video because there's honestly too much. If you think The Sims 4 Island Living is good, you haven't seen nothing. It would not be a Sims 3 Let's Play without Fannie Mae. Yes, Fannie Mae Lee Jones got another nose job, a very botched one. She also got lip filler. Fannie Mae Lee Jones is also being accompanied by her best friend in the world, Flangela Kafufi. She also has a botched nose job. We are also joined by Fannie Mae's brand new friend, Moist Miriam. So Fannie Mae's lifetime wish is to explore all of the uncharted islands. Luckily, we've got an array of different boats to choose from. By the way, I didn't make it clear, but like this is my genuine like first time playing this game. So I'm very excited. Today's Let's Play is all about boats in the sea and building a literal houseboat, by the way. Also with Flangelica Fufu, feet we are going to be running and owning a full-on hotel resort which is going to be amazing and with moist miriam we are going scuba diving and finding mermaids and yes in the sims 3 you can go scuba diving actually underwater not in the sims 4 when they pretend to go underwater and fade away and i'm so excited anyway fanny may gave up and she's decided to just swim around you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to be winter oh my god what the hell just happened <laughs> Where did that speedboat come from? So we windsurfed into a random bit of the ocean. Now we're speedboating back. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like I wasn't expecting that to happen. Somebody's right next to us. Can we pause? Guillermo Itaka. Oh my God. He's literally staring at Fanny Mae and he is literally the sexiest man I've seen in my life. <laughs> oh my God, sir. I want to have sex with you. Anyway, f knows where he went. We also have jet skis, apparently. So Fanny Mae, are you ready to hop onto your jet ski? Where are we going? We're going over here, apparently. I mean, there is an island over here. It says, I wonder what's down there. I'm very much curious, although it won't let us get here so I'm sure there's going to be some special way we're going to have to find out. Although there's a little island over here so we may as well jet ski all over to this island. What's on this island? Absolutely nothing it seems. The most horrifically boring island of cinema life. By the way my game is just frozen and like just as a disclaimer Island Paradise is the glitchiest mess like you've ever seen in your entire life. Like it is pretty horrific. So excuse me if things like this happen when we're in a bit of a lag and the game has frozen. Frozen. I mean, it, it keeps freezing. I'm gonna have to restart for Christ's sake. The bloody Sims 3 and it's freezing and lagging is horrendous. It's insufferable. Anyway, I restarted. Hopefully it won't be as horrific now. By the way, fun fact, did you know you can build over water in the Sims 3 base game? It originally came in this pack, but then they literally made it a base game update, something they didn't do in the Sims 4. Yes, my iconic line for my Sims 2 and 3 Let's Plays is the Sims 4 could never. I didn't realize to have a house but you you actually needed to move into it as a separate house. So it looks like Fannie Mae is going to be moving out of her rather pink beach house. You can choose from loads of different ports. Obviously, Fannie Mae wants the most expensive one, although we can live on the same island on Port Pleasant. So that's not bad. Right, come on, Fannie Mae. Let's get going. We are officially, oh my God, we're on our boat. <laughs> the fact that you can build a literal fucking houseboat in The Sims 3. And by the way, you can ride this on the water. <laughs> Honestly, like it blows my mind. I genuinely like can't breathe. I'm so excited. Although I can't say I'm excited for The Sims 3's build tools. Not gonna lie, they are pretty horrific. Although we do have spiral staircases. So Sims 3, you are forgiven. Although the horrific lighting in The Sims 3, that I don't think I could ever forgive. Also, this pack came with the most useful bathroom object, which is an all-in-one bathroom. It's basically a toilet, sink and a shower, all in the exact same same thing, which I just think is like so randomly useful. I mean, we're not using it in this build because it doesn't suit the aesthetic that we got going on up here, but still, I think it's cool. So Fannie Mae, I hope you like your little space that we got going on here. Also, I hope she doesn't get very seasick. Although like imagine taking a shit guys and like seeing the view. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything better. So can we just like boat anywhere in the ocean? Oh my God, we're going. <laughs> We're literally moving our house. It's just insane. Fanny Mae, are you having a good time? I really hope you're having a good time. Nothing beats The Sims 3. You can literally make a houseboat and just take your boat anywhere like it's nothing. Oh, looks like somebody else's houseboat here. Looks like we're not the only one. Anyway, there's a total of eight uncharted islands, really secretive ones. In order to get there, we have to fulfill a few requirements. I'll be honest with you guys, the game keeps freezing. <laughs> I don't know 
how well this is gonna go. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep it up for. So apparently this island here, you can unlock by literally just like traveling near it with the houseboat. So I guess we just like boat near it. So it looks like, oh my God, Shanice, you just abandoned your houseboat. <laughs> Shanice, don't abandon your houseboat and stop lagging as well, please, for God's sake. She's literally just abandoned. <laughs> She just abandoned the boat. How absolutely mental. I feel like I keep calling her Shanice by accident, but her name's Fanny, mate. I think she looks like Shanice. If you're wondering, by the way, Shanice Shanice doesn't exist in The Sims 1, 2 or 3 because The Sims 1, 2 and 3 follow a very set timeline. Oh, we unlocked the island. Anyway, The Sims 4 follows a totally alternate timeline of the previous Sims games. It's in an alternate universe, so Shanice doesn't exist in The Sims 1, 2 or 3, but Fanny May does. Anyway, we're here on this uncharted island. Oh my God, there's a mailbox. So it looks like, I bet you can make a house here. That is pretty cool. Anyway, I've just Googled how to resolve lag in the Sims 3 Island Paradise. And there's a couple of things you can apparently do. Apparently there's a family somewhere called the Scott family and you need to delete them. Oh, look at Shanice's houseboat over here. That's so cute. Anyway, here's the Scott family. So I am evicting them and then we'll delete them. So hopefully that should be helpful. Apparently the Los Amigos household too. We can delete these guys sorry goodbye and the Medina household you can get rid of them why would that stop the lag absolutely no idea but apparently it works oh guys I did it wrong you're actually supposed to delete basically every single houseboat and remove the households in there oopsie daisy not gonna lie that took an ungodly amount of time if it still lags we're gonna have to install some mods like I'm not being funny cannot be bothered to do that anyway every secret island you unlock you get something special with it this one you can live on the island which is like the special thing all of the other islands have different requirements. Thank you very much to carls-sims-3-guide.com because I would not be able to do this without it. Okay, island number five. Refuge Island looks pretty simple to unlock. We need to head to the Sparkling Sands Resort. That's right, we are checking into a hotel. Oh my God, this is a taxi boat. <laughs> what happened to Fanny Mae's real boat? We've literally got a taxi boat. <laughs> That is literally hilarious. Anyways, by the way, guys, the lag seems to have stopped. Amazing. Apparently the houseboats cause a routing issue. Anyway, here we are in the hotel resort. That's right, the Sims 3 came with hotel resorts. You could stay in and you can also run and manage yourself. I would like to check in, please, for two nights. Although there's nobody here. Oh, here's a staff member. Hello, sir, you're very handsome. Tracy Coma, get me in the best room you've got, please. How do we, oh my God, you can't actually go in the room. Okay, so you can't actually see the room that you're in in. It, it's a rabbit hole. Honestly, I genuinely didn't think it would be a rabbit hole, but there we go. You win some, you lose some. At least we have pool bars in The Sims 3 Island Paradise, official ones. So I know it's only 7.30 a.m., but me, you and Fanny Mae are going swimming. Oh my god, she's got a snorkeling goggles on. <laughs> we are going swimming to the pool bar, which is going to be amazing. Oh look, Fanny Mae's even got a pink drink. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, I'm getting distracted. We need to talk to this guy and ask about an adventure. So off we go in our swimming cozy and our snorkeling goggles. Oh my god, even the painting's pink. This is meant to be. Even the guy's tie is pink. Oh, so it's adventure you want. Well then, why are you hanging in the lobby? You could be out searching for a secret island that only a few have glimpsed. If you seek the unknown, talk to Valerie Vidal. Valerie Vidal will set you on your way. Oh my god, let's do it. Let's do it. Valerie, where are you, mate? Let's go. Let's get in a taxi. We're off to Valerie. Oh my god, even Valerie has a pink house. This is meant to be. Hello, Miss Valerie. You look like a potato, madam. Your face is terrifying. Though we have to befriend Valerie first before we can actually do anything, which is a little bit annoying. Fanny Mae is a mean sim, so that may be very, very difficult. Oh my god, Fanny Mae, you're gross. Stop being so insufferable. Anyway, we're friends. Hey, maybe I know about that which you speak, and maybe I don't. Maybe the refuge exists, and maybe it doesn't. Are you a true ally to this archipagalo? Whatever that is. What's an archipagalo? If so, I have an ecologist friend that needs help. Bring three kelp to Nautilus Laboratory trees. So guess where kelps grow? Underwater. <laughs> That's right, looks like we're going in the sea. Can we just click snorkel and go snorkeling? I don't know how it works. Nope, she's literally just snorkeling, she's not going under. Apparently we need to reach scuba diving level two first in order to do that. So Fanny mate, you scuba away until you reach the skill fully. Oh, she did find a scallop shell while she's been doing it. We're gonna sell that for money because we are cheap. We're gonna sell this cowrie shell as well. So we've reached level two scuba diving now. This is very systematic. We can now go to Rocky Reef. I'm guessing, by the way, guys, 
guys, if you have this pack and you want to get rid of the lag, literally just delete every single houseboat from your game. Absolutely perfect. Oh my God. Oh my God. It loaded so fast. I was expecting a loading screen. <laughs> God, guys, we're literally in the water. <laughs> oh my God. There's a man here with us and he doesn't have snorkeling stuff on. Does that mean he's like a mermaid? His name is Salty Seaworth. Oh my God. It looks like a sim that I would actually make. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. She's gone. Get back under, please. Snorkel back under there, please. She can't. She can't scuba dive. You'll need to depressurize before attempting again. What on earth is depressurizing? Oh, it's just a trait, but I can remove it with cheats. So that is useful. So on this ocean floor, there should be some kelp. Help, I can't find my kelp. <laughs> that was the most pathetic joke I've said in my entire life. <laughs> We'll pretend that one didn't happen. I've honestly gone red in the face, so that was really, really embarrassing. Oh, this looks like a bit of kelp. There we go. Let's harvest this. Sexy mermaid. Salty Seaworth. I'm sorry. you got to jog on, mate. I'm not into you. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a shark, apparently. Oh my god. She's screaming about a shark. Oh my god. Fanny Mae, what's going on? Oh my god. Fanny Mae, please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, the shark. I think the shark is gone. We're swimming over to the kelp. Guys, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I just can't get over the fact that, like, we're doing this in The Sims 3. Like, we're literally underwater. Honestly, this game is bloody perfect. Literally perfect. So here we are getting some kelp. Just can't believe it. Oh my God, is that a little fish? Oh, that's cute. Can we catch it in the water? Do we have a pitchfork? Not What's it called? Poseidon. A spear, a spear. Do we get a spear? How do we catch it? Do we just do it with our hands? What are we? Okay. It, it just magically appeared in our inventory. A tuna fish. Oh my God, Mr. Mermaid, you're so sexy. Although, oh no, we got taken up now. Oh my God, is that a shark? Oh my God, get out of the water now. Get out of that water right now. I do not want you to die this early on in the let's play. Get out, please. Get a taxi to the land. Bloody hell. <laughs> that was a nightmare. Oh, now she almost just got run over by this black car. Oh my God, is that a castle? Oh my God, I'm getting so distracted. Anyways, we've got to turn in our kelp now. Love how they just ride in the sea to literally everywhere. Totally amazing. So we're in the science lab, turning it in. Thanks for the help. You seem like a fine person, but are you in tune with your island spirit? Perform an act of daring mind over matter then we talk about the island. We have to firewalk. So there is a firewalking thing in our hotel. So let's do some firewalking. Are you ready, Fanny Mae? She looks so excited to be here. Oh my God. <laughs> She's waddling. How was that for you, Fanny Mate? Fi oh my God, it's not even completing in the quest line. What if we do it again? Would it work now? Nope, she's not doing it. Oh, it says she's got tortured souls. Fanny Mae is a tortured soul. Should we try again? Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna be pathetic? Is she gonna do it? She did it. But it didn't like compute or register on the thing. Why is it not computing? Why is it not registering? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. It's done it now. We had to do it bloody three times, it seems. So back off to the science lab. We go in our taxi boat. Genuinely love that there's taxi boat. So one more thing, and this is more of a favor. Roving sharks have been interrupting my sea surveys and it's quite a bother. As an ecologist, it's extremely important to me that you punch a shark in the face. That'll teach them. Oh, for Christ's sake. Now we have to fight a bloody shark. Fanny Mae thought she was doing this as some kind of relaxing beach holiday, yet here we are. I am going to save though, just in case the shark kills us and we need to reload. Although, I mean, like, I don't know where a shark could be. Maybe if we just go out far into the sea. She's not getting a taxi boat this time. She's literally swimming unbearably slowly over out here. Oh no, according to Google, they are near the dive spots. So off we go. Oh, thank God she's gone in a taxi boat this time. Apparently having raw fish in your inventory helps and we do have one. We have a tuna. Oh my God, we can give a name to tuna. Mr. or Mrs. Tuna, your name is Coxsleeve. Coxsleeve, I really, really hope that you bring a shark our way. I want to use you as bait. Coxsleeve, you are not doing your job properly. Play. There are no sharks. Let's we just snorkel around for a little bit till we find one. Maybe they don't come out at night. Maybe they're sleeping. Oh, there's someone on a rowboat. Hello there. How you doing, madam? Have you come to help me find a shark? Though it's not looking too promising. Maybe if we go back over to the rocky reef area, maybe we'll find another one because we did last see one here. Is that a shark? That is not a shark. Is that a swordfish? I don't know what that was. Yeah, it was a swordfish. Apparently the more fish you have in your inventory, like each fish adds a two percent chance that a shark will come. Oh, here's another little fishy, the goldfish. Come on, let's catch you. The more fishes we have, the more likely we're going to get murdered by a shark. Oh my god, there's a shark. Oh my god, hello there. Are you a shark? Please come here. I want you to kill me. Come here, please. Where did you go? Oh my god, it disappeared. <laughs> no, the shark disappeared. What an absolute spot of bother. Oh my god, there's more sharks. I don't know how to interact with them though. How do we do it? How do we do it? I want to do it. I think that, oh no, they've disappeared now. The bloody game is lagging for Christ. 
Christ's sake. Where, where are you going, Fanny Mae? Come back. Where are you going, Fanny Mae? You're so annoying. I just want a bloody scuba dive. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause, pause. Is that a shark I see? Oh my God, you are so sexy. Let's watch the shark. Apparently that increases your chance of getting in a fight with it. Oh no, it disappeared. For Christ's sake. What is this on the seafloor? Oh my God, is that an octopus? We've captured an octopus. Lovely. Oh, here's another shark. Quick, let's watch it. Let's watch it quickly, quickly before it disappears again. Please, please, please. Come on, Fanny Mae. Please, please don't this one up. Okay, she's watching it. Is the shark watching back? Oh no, the shark disappeared. Ugh. Statistically, when we watch a shark now, there is a 35% chance that it will attack us. It's not the most, but we just gotta keep going. Oh my God, what's this? We can explore here. Oh my God, is that like a, a kraken or something? What on earth was that in there? Or a giant squid? Who knows what was in there? Oh my God, I didn't realize there was a cave. Funny, Maley Jones found an air pocket in the cave. What does that mean? You found a new exit to the cave system. Do you wanna see where it leads? Yeah. Yes, fuck the shark. Where are we going now? Where are we? Oh my God. We're in this brand new area. I don't know where we are, but we are here. Well, isn't this lovely? Oh, there's a little wrecked boat there. Is that a bottle? We can't pick it up. Looks like you can swim like all the way down here. Oh my God, there's a treasure chest. Let's go. Fanny Mae, let's get going. What are you going to find in your chest? Apart from silicone implants. She's opened the chest. She's found 1,000 simoleons. Oh my God, she's found an emerald and she found an oval cut thing. She found silver and she's found, oh my God, she's found a treasure map piece. Good for you, Fanny Mae. That was a good find. Oh, here's another shark. Oh, Fanny Mae. Oh my God, Fanny Mae just peed herself because we've been neglecting her needs and there is her wee. <laughs> That is hilarious. I mean, you're in the water, so like nobody's gonna know. Right, come on, Fanny Mae, please just have a fight with this bloody shark. And oh my God, the shark is glitching. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's not happening. I mean, there's a new shark. Let's follow this new shark. Oh my God, oh no, she is fighting with it. <laughs> just as I said that, oh my God, as if she's having a fight with the shark in the water. What the hell is going on? Who's gonna win? Did we, oh my God, okay, we punched the shark. Finally, we can return to this bloody lab. That was a ball lake. And I think it's getting a bit glitchy under the water like we need to get out of there. Well, thanks. Okay, I'm convinced. Refuge Island is actually easy to find. There's an old map at the town hall that will point the right way. Search the dilapidated cartography section. Love that there's little quests and things to do in this game. Like it's not totally bland. That's what I do like about The Sims 3. Like they have little quests and things that you can do with the townies there. I think it's quite cool. So we're in the town hall. What are we going to find? Oh, there it is. The fabled Refuge Island should now be easy to navigate to. So let's get going. Fanny Mae. So apparently this is like a resort and you can convert it to resort lots. Real estate can I convert to a resort? Are you sure? Yes. Refuge Island. Resort management. There we go. So it's a little resort apparently. Oh, there's a little reception desk. Oh my God, this can be the hotel. Oh my God, we can use this as the resort. The one that we're going to buy and make money off. Until then though, I think we need to recover our houseboat because it is literally just stranded in the middle of the sea. That was not a very good idea. There we go. Back to our beautiful houseboat. Genuinely love our little houseboat with a passion. So maybe we could move our houseboat over here. As we do, we can just gently move along. I wonder if you have another sim in the household, they can like move around and do things whilst you're moving on the houseboat. I want to try it. You no, know, guys, I want to try it. Edit town, save. Right, where are the girls? We are merging them with Shanice's household. Flangelica, Fufi, Moist Miriam. Let's go. So here everybody is. We're all on the houseboat. Gosh, this world is huge. It's insane. Anyway, as we move our houseboat, literally moving in the water, can I get, oh my God, I can actually get my other Sims to do stuff while we're moving. So can I, oh my God, I can literally make Miriam have a poo whilst we're in the houseboat and we're moving along. Oh my God, Miriam, you're taking a shit whilst we're in a moving houseboat. <laughs> Honestly, like of all things it could be happening right now, this is honestly happening. My gosh, I love The Sims 3 so much. Look, we can even take a shower in our moving houseboat. Like, isn't this just the dream life? I mean, I wouldn't want to be stuck with a moist Miriam in a boat. I mean, Flangelica Foofy on the other hand and Fanny Mae, I would like to be stuck with on a boat. So Flangelica Foofy, you have a nice time watching TV because in the next episode, you are going to be owning a hotel and running a hotel for us, which is exciting. And yes, we're going to unlock all of the other islands and things, blah, blah, blah. Moist Miriam, okay. Her aspiration in life is to be a deep sea diver. So she's going to be like the proper diver. Also, there's also a lifeguard career in 
this pack, which is going to be exciting. So yes, Fanny Mate will be making a return and she's going to be our new lifeguard. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If I haven't uploaded the other ones already, in the meantime, you can always watch my Sims 3 Showtime Let's Play, which is equally hilarious. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this one. I will see you in the next one.